Hi everyone, just a disclaimer first. Uh, all these products uh, were bought with my own money over the like past maybe like 10 years. So I didn't buy everything at one go. And yeah, so yeah, just a disclaimer. <laughs> and some of them were bought like recently. Um, later I will show you. Um, but like those were bought um, during the time when, when I had a job, like a day job, so I had a fixed income and everything, so yeah. <laughs> so I'll go in a sequence of like um, drawing pencils first and uh, student grade pencils and then slowly move uh, towards the artist grade pencils and I also uh, like separate them into two different parts like not two different parts as in two sections one is um, water soluble pencils and one is non water soluble pencils so first of all for drawing pencils I have this Derwent graphic pencils um, I bought this quite recently um, and it's like it's good because it has the whole range from uh, 9H to 9B so you can definitely if you want to do some graphite work it's, it's definitely like great um, for different like shading or, or online sketching but uh, I haven't really I haven't used them because I yeah like I mentioned I recently just got them so it's still in the wrapper and um, in the past, I use uh, I believe it's just I don't know what is the brand. Okay. In the past, I use this. It's like this pencil, the standard ones. So yeah, but I pretty only like use the HB and the two B pencils. Yeah. And of course I do have mechanical pencils but this video is solely for like traditional pencils so I I am not including mechanical pencils into this video. Next up is classic one. Um, but I definitely use the water soluble ones more because like in the past when I first started with like pencils in my elementary school days um, I didn't know what water soluble pencils were and I don't really I didn't really know how to use them so I thought they were the same I hardly use this um, but this is a great pencil to start off with especially if you are not sure what type of like pencils to get and what pen like color pencils are and how they work this is actually a perfect set to start with instead of like, like jumping into the artist grade pencils which can be quite expensive and the last set for student grade pencils I have is this Sorry, the wrong side <laughs> this is Lyra 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 I don't know how you can pronounce it anyway these are also like student grade pencils which you, you can get anywhere and definitely I don't like use I didn't use them quite a lot because I don't know I think the core is like a lot softer than the flavor pastel so they break very easily and I can't stand break uh break breaklets yeah <laughs> so yeah and that is why I don't use certain other spring which I will cover later as well yeah and i might one day also do a like color pencil like demo or review of different like brands of color pencils but that might be in the future i like haven't tried a lot of brands yet there are some brands which are on my list that i want really wanted to try for artist grade pencils yeah so <laughs> that might be in the future Next up is the artist grade non water soluble section so first one is this, the Derwent Artist Pencils. Um, Derwent is quite easy to find in Singapore. It's um, 
is sold or distributed in one of the like biggest art supply stores in Singapore here so it's really easy to get this on hand and this is like everywhere even if you go on the internet like Amazon has like you know every, like a lot <laughs> yeah everything so yeah this is a 72 RD it's great this line of pencils has actually full like 120 colors but the shop that I bought from the art, the art store that I bought from um, only has the 72 as the bigger set. Um, but I glad I was actually quite glad that I didn't get the full set <laughs> because I feel that I don't need that many colors for this like line of pencils. Like after trying out, like yeah, <laughs> I literally like just um, did. Uh, half a drawing like two nights ago with these pencils and um, I have to say that I like and dislike them as well so yeah why I like them is because they um, they keep a sharp point because the core is a much harder lead and um, yeah actually <laughs> and I'm not sure if these are like fast I believe so because what I know is this is the first type of pencils, um, I mean first type of colored pencils Derwin is has made for the Ali's grade. So I would assume that it's like fast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. So uh, why I dislike them is because because they are hard. <laughs> it's a little bit contradicting, but because they are hard. Um, which means that you need to press down a lot harder to get a really rich color and when you press down and that is why I don't like also because when you press down hard on the paper you are sort of like burnishing the paper and the color like burnishing is not like buffing the color into the paper so when you add additional layers on top it gets a little bit difficult um, but if you are really if you yeah you are like doing a flat like color, this one is quite good. Um, if you press down really hard, um, yeah. So if if you have like some like wrist pain or something like that, then these pencils might not be suitable for you because for me I don't have wrist pain. But after using this for like two hours, my wrist really hurts a lot. So this is, these are the disadvantages of the pencils. I mean for myself. So yeah, like I mentioned, I might do a review, like a demonstration one day <laughs> of all these different pencils. Yeah, so there it goes. This is the RD72. Oh my god, I feel that this video is going to like go for hours and hours. <laughs> Next up is so my, my, my second favorite, this is the Derwin Color Soft 72 set and I use this really quite a lot um, because I really like them. They are vibrant, they are soft and I don't know, they smell really good. <laughs> Oops. I don't sniff them every day but I, I, have, I just have a problem with pencils. <laughs> I feel that pencils smell really really great <laughs> and so appealing and yeah. So this is the first tray of the colors. You can see that some of them I really use quite a lot. And this is the second tray. Yeah, and I really really love these pencils. They are like um, soft. Uh, they are a little bit waxy and slippery. So it will it should work great. Um, I mean work better on rougher or toothier paper. I use them with two thicker paper, um, like this one, this, like this one, the Daila Rani, um, fine grain, heavyweight paper, and it has a little bit of tooth, not too much, but enough to hold the pencils. So I use this paper with these pencils. I don't use like normal printer paper or even like smooth even smoother like drawing paper i feel that it's not so ideal so 
yeah. So I really love these pencils and the great thing is they're rich, they're soft. Um, and even even if they're soft, they don't break easily. I have never like really experienced like the whole leg coming out. I mean the whole tip, like the whole tip here like coming off just like that. I've never experienced that before and sometimes they keep a really nice point depending on how you want to color. If you like if you are coloring like this way, like vertically, definitely the point is going to go off easily. And if you color like sideways, you can actually keep a point quite nicely for a longer period of time. And um, but the downside to that is, I mean, to these pencils, um, I feel they don't take a lot of layer. After like two or three layers, um, it starts to I don't know. It's not red right burnished, but it just doesn't take in additional layers well yeah but they are overall like really nice pencils and yeah I, I, I really like them <laughs> yes so and these are not too expensive um, but of course these are already great pencils um, so for the price I feel that it's reasonable it's uh, less than hundred dollars Singapore dollars I mean yeah so I love them. So now, final one comes to my favorite, favorite, favorite is the Faber Castell Polychromos. I really, really, really love this a lot. Oh, this is an old drawing. <laughs> I love this. Love, 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 love. I, I just feel that. I feel that. I, I feel so secure with these pencils around. I, I don't know. You could probably do. Like most of the things with the wind, but um, yeah, but I have a problem so <laughs> with pencils especially. So yeah, and these pencils I got like two years ago from Amazon um, because buying at the time I, I I didn't know that you can buy this in Singapore. Um, but after I knew it. I also I, I also like was quite happy that I bought it from Amazon because it's much 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 cheaper. So you can see that this like are the colors. This is the first tray, and this is the second tray. So yeah, and this is the set of sixty. I have a set of hundred and twenty, which I'll show you later. <laughs> yeah, so these pencils is like everything if if you if you don't have a problem like me like like pencils a lot and like to buy them <laughs> if you only need one set of pencils and you want something that you can keep a sharp point for a longer period of time and something that is also soft enough to give you rich colors these are the pencils to go for it these pencils, why they are so great? <laughs> because one thing, number one, is they keep a sharp point really well, and yeah, and um, but with this, although they are, they feel like hard pencils. When you lay down on the paper, it feels really, really soft and creamy. So it's really really rich so it's like in between hard and soft pencils and you have like something like the best of both worlds so <laughs> this is why I like them so much and they are like fast um yeah so <laughs> and another special thing about this pencils is the core is bind to the like the wood casing so I've never ever experienced any breakage with these pencils, ever, 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 seriously. So because they bind to the wood casing, they don't come off like, like they don't come off like a piece of like, you know, pigment, something like that. So it's great and because you can use them, uh, they keep a lot, uh, sharper point for longer period of time. 
and so that so you can use them actually like quite like for a long period of time and you don't have to press down really hard and this is really a good thing because you can save a lot of money you don't have to keep sharpening 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 yeah and this another special thing about these pencils is they're oil based the rest of the pencils which I showed you just now they're all wax based and oil based pencils I think they are better because they don't create like a shiny layer on top of the artwork which some um, wax based pencils can like produce the shiny layer this doesn't so and this one layers much better than the Durban Colors of but yeah, it depends on what you need and how much you can afford. Yeah, that this I got it from Amazon for. Uh, I, I actually can't remember. <laughs> it's about it's more my, definitely more than a hundred dollars, but less than two hundred, and for a set of sixty. So yeah, this is the set of sixty, and like I mentioned, I have the set of two hundred and twenty. I bought this not because I like feel that I need all the colors. I feel that I bought this because um, I bought this in I think June or July, and that was the time when um, Brit Britain, like the UK, decided to like exit from European Union. So, and at that time, the British pounds like really, really like depreciate or something I don't know what it's the call but it definitely like I don't know depreciates I, I don't know what it's the call but it def it's like cheaper than the exchange rate is better for Singapore dollars to like um, British pounds so I took that opportunity to buy this set from Amazon UK and it only cost me slightly more than 200 Singapore dollars for this, this set of 120 full set like of the colors and if you if I were to get this in Singapore, it will cost like over four hundred fifty dollars, which is insane and ridiculous. <laughs> but for this, for the quality of these pencils, I think it's still worth the money for over four hundred dollars. But yeah, since you can get it cheaper on Amazon, then why not? And yeah, but I've never used, haven't used them because I want to finish using the 60 first before I start this so I think this pencils can last me for the next 5 years or 10 sorry my phone is keep ringing so yeah that concludes my pencil color pencil or pencil collection and overall I love this the most for non water soluble pencils and for water soluble I would love the Albert Duro um, but of course they are artist grade and they are expensive so and because they are expensive they are, I, su I, I, I just assume they have to be great yep yeah, so yeah, anyway um, and just a disclaimer again I bought this with my own money and back when I had a job and yeah and, uh, for now as of this video is filmed I am still trying to um, make money with my art so at the meantime I don't feel like I need any more art supplies at least for pencils uh, yeah because I mean for all all those pencils I think they can last me for ages <laughs> if I use them sparingly of course and yeah so this is the colored pencil um, collection for I still have other art supplies which I may do a collection video in the future. Yeah, so anyway I think I think I'm going to end this video here. If you have any questions about all these pencils, like how they blend, how they work, uh, you can drop me a comment and I'll try my best to like help you with that. And yeah, so Thank you very much for watching and uh, do remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my social media and of course also check out my little art stores. Yeah, so. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.
I have also posted um, some links to um, like Amazon and Dick for these different color pencils. So if you're interested, do check them out for pricing.